Boy, it's not meant to be still. Let me see. Who is it? <laughs> it's Ike versus Richter. Is that the Twink Ike? Yes, it is. Okay, I agree. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. For this game, we're winning the finals. Go! Jumping in. We're getting anime Twink Boy 1 uh, t to the second Twink Boy, who's not really anime, but, but kind of, I guess, a little bit. Richter is, yeah. He's not a Twink, he's definitely an anime. Um, he has that, anime as well. You can totally jump into a map and pilot it. I feel like Belmont is also like a matchup mag is like quite nice, and there's like a couple of Belmonts that he regularly at least played with before like, playing team. Um, for, 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 for sure. And he is just keeping Slim <laughs> at the edge for so long. What do we need on the air dodge? So like these are both characters with like incredibly good advantage states, but their disadvantage states are super poopy garbage. And yes, that is the term that I elected to use. Uh, if any of them get hit, there's a very strong chance that either it's going to be a solid 100% coming out of it, or it's going to be a stock. <laughs> so you can see, like, that's why Mega's playing, like, super conservatively. Right there, like, you got hit once, and, oh, look at that, he's at 100. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that just came from, like, one of two jump call-outs. Because Mega does initiate a lot of things from full hop. Not a lot of characters are as good as calling out jumps, or at least... As, as heavily as Belmont, I'd like to say, like, even though, like, this man's Ooh. dead. Ooh. He's, he ceased to be, he's deceased. I like All that. because he didn't want to be on the ledge. Setting up the cross like that is really, really <sighs> smart. Really? He did that, he was kind of a bad recovery, and yeah, I guess he didn't take advantage of it at all. He wasn't expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> Now it's effectively even is what I would say until he got the holy water that smash just right off the gate. Ah, uh, yeah, Slink is controlling the center stage super well, calling out all of Mega's jumps. But again, I do think Mega's one of those players that does get better as the set goes on. He's never particularly strong in the game ones that I do see him, especially like prevalent in his set with Mouse Rat. Um, so so he's like you know he feels mess a little bit you know, he's he's like a pickle. He gets better with time. Is that re is that really the, <laughs> the analogy you want to use? Yes, uh, it is like a pickle. I'm oh, sorry, the simile yeah. that you want to use. Oh, like, analogy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got you got simile. Yeah. I do. I don't. I don't. I really don't see the issue. Here. Okay. Sure. Whatever. He's a pickle. Got it. Um. That being said, you know, this is definitely his stock to take. Good aggressive way to get off of ledge. Um, definitely unprecedented because like the slink like didn't get off okay. that way before. Mm. Okay, that was nice. That was a good back off. Take this. <laughs> the holy water disappearing at his feet. He was an inch away from death, but he managed to, to just barely like not die. I can really appreciate the way the fact that Maga doesn't always feel like fighting out of the corner. There are times when he just like completely pauses when he's like cornered, and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for you to put in some resources, I'm gonna wait for it to be a little bit easier for me to get back. I'm just gonna wait. And as a result, okay. he's able to get back much more effectively. Just look at him, he's not dashing forward, he's just dashing and sitting in shield, and he's able to avoid all of Slink's kill options, just barely outranging the dash attack though. Look how hard it is for Slink to get a hit on him. You know, he's definitely playing like really well around uh, Slink's options. To the point that like Slink hasn't really been able to get a good beat on him. Like that first kill that uh, that Slink got was huge because it was uh, it was a really good call out on Mega trying to recover high. That's not it. That is it. That is it. He's dead. Uh, when he was out of the range of the, uh, of the upper hit of Ether, he could have technically up there and it would have been good, but he tried to air dodge in, and that ended up costing him the stock. Because he wasn't just, he just was not close enough to actually snap to the ledge. Uh, good stuff for Mega, great call out there. He's like, I'm about to lose the stock anyway, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Everybody in the chat is cheering on Slink. <laughs> really? Yeah. Bakai and Ralphie, Ralphie Ralphie's just doing good sportsmanship. <laughs> Ralphie's like Ralphie with that good sportsmanship. He's like, man, I know he beat me, but he's really like he's really nice, so uh, You know what? I'll, I'll give credit I'll give Ralphie credit. I thought it'd be salty after that, but you know, he's just showing real class. <laughs> oh man. Ralphie, please don't abuse your your 
Please don't abuse your your moderating power. Wait, is he is he abusing the moderating privileges? You don't you don't want to see what happened to the last person that did that. Oh my god, that is hilarious. I mean, lucky Devin isn't here to see this apparently. Oh, I unmodded him. Oh, did you? Yep. Ready? All right. All right. Oh my gosh! Like right out the gate, dude. Like he's went from zero to ninety. He skipped sixty. All right. And Nick is like, I'm here to avenge my no, home. No. Mega just did jab, jab into falling down. Excuse me. He didn't even finish his jab sequence. He didn't even like set up a tech chase or anything. He just did jab one, jab two, jump now, and connected it. Make us kind of feeling himself a little too much. He's like, he's always like, man, I feel nice. This feels, this feels good. This feels right. And I'm like, man, you need to chill out. You're about to lose your stock if you're not careful. You're fighting Richter. I'm sorry, Richter. Oh my god. These axes. And just like that, like the, the shoes are. <laughs> what is that? What? what is, what's, what's going on, dude? See, again, like really good patience for a mech app. Ike being so heavy, still able to live the F tilt. Um, wow, just gave up all semblance of stage control. Yeah, that is something that uh, that's Twink has done multiple what times to this point. Is just be like, oh. Stage control? What's that? Richter go Richter go whoosh off stage. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Again. What, am I wa what am I watching? What are we watching? Like this keep away game is good. And Slink, I feel like he's getting a little bit hungry for the kill. He really wants like a falling for you. He wants a falling back in. And that's all he seems to be going for. But this time, I guess, I guess. Yeah, no, yeah, he, uh, he got that tipper uh, forward air, which is 100% a kill move. Oh, almost actually getting the lead on Mega jumping with the forward and tried to cover it. Was not able to fully execute on it though. Mega just needs to find a way to get himself out of the coin, but he burns so many resources that Slink was just able to get a hit on him as he was landing with his own down air. Incredible damage coming out from Slink with that holy fire. 20%. Yep, no, it's uh, Mega's really losing his uh, momentum battle right now. He's got the Holy Fire again, but he's gonna be able to do anything with it? Maybe not. That's. He had a chance for a shield break, but Slink didn't give it to him. Wow, what is this awareness? 160. Mega's like, yeah, my playstyle wasn't high enough. I need to play with a deficit. He's not gonna die. Watch this. I'm gonna make a prediction, and it's gonna be that Mega's gonna take the first stop. Um, I can see it. Like, if literally what just happened, I can definitely see it. Mega finally has momentum, which is kind of the huge thing in this matchup. Uh, just whoever... killed Slink with side B. Yep. He's like, you already air dodged, so I'm just gonna. What is going Ugh. on? Mega's pressure is actually like on point right now, and this man is dead. He's gone. He ceased to exist. So took one holy water, but Mega for the second, he was just unstoppable. Also, his he seems so well acquainted with the timing of the holy water that he's just able to like grab it after he hits a shield every single time. He's grabbing but, it consistently, so good. How did Richter die? I wasn't watching. Like half a second. Uh, he was like knocked off stage. And oh. Double jump. Yeah, he went like the worst angle possible. Good dash back for Mega, like anticipating that he was gonna go through the down tilt too. I'm um, gonna stay right outside of it, punish it, stop moving on his hand wide. Yeah, Mega's playing like super evasively to the point that like it can be kinda hard to get a proper beat on. Mm -hmm. Looks like I really appreciate the fact that each time that um oh my god, what is this? What is this chat? I have not been looking at the chat at all. Uh, and each time that, um... You're right, Dara. Blessing for you. Um, okay. Alright, so, like, break that down for me. What the hell just happened? What was all that?
<laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I, I need to close chat because it is it's extremely funny. distracting. It is extremely distracting. You are right. I do need to close it. I am closing it out. But um, <laughs> I don't. Does anyone know where Slink is from? Because I definitely have no idea. I'm gonna go look up his tag on Twitter. Maybe. I tried doing that and I couldn't find it, but maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Let's see, Slinklet. He has a uh, holy water as his avatar on, on Smash GG. Does it not have a Twitter link to it? No, he only has a. Uh, it only has a, a Twitch and a uh, Discord connected to his uh, Smash GG. Hope I have a question. Is there a difference between a composite and a compound butter? Uh, I don't know. I might be. I, I, I'm actually thinking of compound. Butter. I, I couldn't remember the way I used it. I just used this word when I wrote that tweet. So thank you for correcting me. Also, that was a really, really good like dash back out of shield into the grab. Like just recognizing that he was just trying to cross up his shield safe, quote unquote safely. And Mago was, was just so confident in this commitment again. Slink has quite a habit of always going through the down tilt too on somebody's shield, and and Mega just been able to punish it consistently. Good use of the holding water to cover himself um, as he's getting back onto stage. I really quite like that. I like his Hail Mary for Mega, where he's like, "Yeah, you're gonna just like come down on my sh my head." <laughs> he's just like mistiming it like ever so slightly. But he does like go for like the super hard reads. And honestly, you have to at some point. Like it, it really does help out with get security kills. Like it's definitely done some favors for Mega in the past. You see, he's holding his ground. He is waiting for Slink to press a button in his face. I um, mean, again, like, he's slightly, slightly off with the rhythm of his punishes, and thus is unable to get it. You see, he's being really careful not to go for any upbeat recoveries, because he doesn't want to get potentially holy water out of it, or hit by cross out of it. His Ooh. shield is looking like a skittle, but that is a nail into up there, finally taking it. Yep, and Slink came back as quickly as he could, or, like, he's on the quickly. He's like, I'm going to try to break your shield now, because you had a tiny, tiny shield earlier. <laughs> yep, now it's on Mega to try to open up the zone. What a way to get back onto center stage by charging side B like that. You're scaling them into holding shield, but Mega's facing it in such a clever way that he's not hitting shield, that he just ends up crossing up above it, makes it super yeah. super safe, especially on Belmont, and Ooh. he gets backstage control. But Slink... Ooh, for the nice forward air, just hit the forward air. Coming in clutch. Mm -hmm. Go! I, I like that dash back from Slink. Instead of perpetuating his juggle with up air, which I feel like has like a really selective range, he just dash backs and decided, you know what, I'm going to set up a cross, go through the option coverage, catch the landing instead of juggling, which was really, really smart. Definitely worked out for him. And look at, I feel like his advantage shapes in the early to mid percent are so good. It, it was Mega just kind of snowballs. Oh, wow, well, finally uh, getting that down to punish. I was like, I was wondering when that was going to finally happen. Ah, but again, like, he was at a bad angle, and Mega didn't really take the opportunity to punish him. Yeah, if he spaces himself any closer, it's, like, possible that he could get, like, hit with the hitbox of a beat, so if he just decides to focus on ledge trapping, rather than two framing or edge guarding. Uh, good double jump out, recognizing the fact that he wasn't going to get hit by Holy Water at that distance, but again, side beat right into the axe. I feel like Mega could be a little bit more patient with it, because this is not the first time this has happened. And Mega keeps kind of recovering at that platform. Uh, there's multiple times that he's done it when it's like when Slink has had the chance to set up holy water, uh, and he just keeps dying to, to act whenever he whenever Slink manages to read it. Like, he's timing it very well. Mm -hmm. You can see again, like it's just a matter of like Mega has to kind of wade through all of the uh, all the projectiles in order to try to gain some kind of advantage. Oh, that dash attack will be too close. I like the down tilt weights for coming from Slank now. Like before, he was always going through the immediate cross-up, but this time I saw it really clever. He hit uh, he hit Mega Shield, he waited, and then he initiated another down tilt, um, and that ended up actually hitting him. So so just a good mix-up, and now Mega really doesn't know what to be punishing. It's going to be like a 50-50. Um. Oh, good dash attack, but not quite there. Yeah, and uh, Slink nice. actually using Holy Water as a little bit of an air stall there. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see Mega's kind of trying to go to grab the Holy Water whenever it hits his shields, but that is giving uh, Slink opportunities to get hits on him. Really good on Mega to like, start slowing it down, but 
At this point, he needs to be taking the stock or else this game is as good as Slinks at this point. Oh my god, dude, please stop coming back in high. He is so afraid of getting ledge trapped. He always wants to be going back to center like this. So smart, side B. Yeah. I was gonna say it was smart to hit the cross in order to help him recover so that he could like get like a little bit of a vertical boost. But then he side B's into the axe and I'm like, well, okay. Yeah, not great. <sighs> I do gotta say it is a little bit frustrating to see Mega like over and over run into those those axes that 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 Slink is setting up. Um, I don't know. I feel like he tunnel he tunnel visioned a bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have much to say about this. It, just, it, it honestly feels like this matchup isn't going the greatest overall for uh, for Mega. Like he can get when he gets into an advantage, he generally pushes advantage pretty well. But Slink has just been getting better about keeping him out because he's starting to figure out what Mega's going for uh, from the first match. Mm -hmm. I remember back on PS2. Which, not that surprising of a pick from uh, from Mega, really. But this is game four. This is uh, Mega Losers. We're going to be going directly to Losers. Mm -hmm. Loser Vince is going to be going on to Losers Finals, winning Grand Finals, obviously. Um, I think I think Mega is not slowing it down when he's either in the lead or when it's basically even. He goes hyper-aggressive, and all that Slink is doing, he's just dashing back, he's throwing out like a hitbox in front of him, and Mega seems to be running into it so frequently. Um, and I think, I just think Mega, before he loses the stocks, just needs to slow this down, and needs to give himself a little bit of ground to move with. Yeah, but like each time that uh, the song doesn't cross him up, like, it hasn't really been able to punish him properly. Yeah. Because it feels like he's waiting to see like how far he goes, like what is uh, what kind of down tilt option is he gonna use to try to cross it up? Is he gonna just like hit my shield? All of that. And Mega doesn't. It doesn't feel like he's very comfortable just like doing projectiles, which is like a stark contrast to the first match where he was able to just really play around them super well. Oh wow, great up B to kind of create space, but it doesn't actually get him past the... It doesn't put him in a good advantage state. Well, what I would have said, because he held Sanu pretty well there, um, and then he gave it up. Ability just barely giving him the ability to lift through that aspect. I don't think it was actually space probably. Um, I mean, Mega keeps letting go of the corner, and Slink keeps putting himself back into it. <laughs> like, he's committing to these down jokes and keeps putting himself off stage. This is so dangerous. Ugh. Something that Slink, Slink keeps doing that Mega hasn't really been punishing. That Slink keeps uh, doing down tilt to make a shield. And then doing uh, down tilt and then down tilt too. And yeah, he hasn't really been able to like do any kind of real punish there. Um, and I'm not really sure what Mega can do besides maybe jab. <laughs> he did it again! No, 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 like, like before. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so disrespectful! I mean, it is disrespectful, but also, Mega's not punishing it properly, so why not? You know? Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, at this point. I mean, not even that disrespectful, it's just like he can tell when Mega got hit versus when he doesn't get hit. And if he hits a shield and he reacts quickly enough, he can just fly past them. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it is Ike. Like, what is Ike gonna do about that? Yeah, Ike doesn't necessarily have the fastest out of shield options. Like, before we saw, like, Mega really committing to those dash grabs, but as soon as he started getting punished with them, he became super unsure of, um, like, how to respond with down tilt on his shield. He's slowly starting to bring this back, despite that humongous deficit in the beginning. Like, again, yeah, this time, like, he always committed to the dash grab, um, but Slink has been mixing up his defensive options appropriately whenever he's been crossing up Mega Shield. Ooh, good parry. 
It really just it does feel like uh, this is really just a quick time event where Mega's just trying to figure out what the best path it is. And, and once it does, then, feels so much damage. Yeah. And once he gets his right, like he does like break his own, but it's usually after taking like forty to fifty percent from like random hits. Hey, what's the potential that we'll see a timeout? The events on a timeout. Uh, not if there's great. gonna be a timeout, I'll pop off. I think whoever whoever takes the stock first, I think he's gonna start playing super defensively. And Mega has been playing like super slow, so if he loses the stock first. I don't think that it's going to be a, uh, a timeout. But if Slink loses the stock first, maybe. It's really interesting. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, it's really interesting that like the character with like no range attacks is the one that's playing quote-unquote defensively. But it's just the way that he has to approach the matchup. If he doesn't, he's going to lose the stock very easily. Yeah. Oh, man. Mega's just holding on to the stock we do, like, barely avoiding all of these axes, rolling right in, so aggressive. Slink was definitely unprepared for that. Slink is really good at timing those axes with the, in, in the, uh, the cross to force, um, to force Mega into the axe. 30%, look at this, look at this, just snowballing out of his control. Mega trying to set up into the kill, getting the nail into upper. So scary, Slink has to be constantly on the lookout for it. Nicely spaced up B to be able to clank with the axe. That was so scary. Ike's up B is so, so exploitable. I... There we go. Look at that. That was, that was delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Mega finally making up a little bit of ground here. He's finally becoming kind of close. A minute and 45 seconds left. The timeout isn't off the table. Uh, but it really depends on like if any of these players are going to be able to run away with it. Uh, if anything, we're definitely going to see it get down to like the last minute because Mega's going to try to choose a spot very carefully. He's playing this intelligently. Mega, I like, oh the dash, I like the dashes that she's doing, like dashing into shield and dashing back, giving him some space. Trying to see if Slink is going to overextend. Right now, Slink is trying to condition Mega not to jump. So he went through all of those forward airs. You see Mega not being so keen to go for his hops. Um, and Slink is going to be able to get the punish on it if he just guesses right. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's over! No! <sighs> just barely clipping his foot with the uh, the holy water. We have a Belmont Oh, this is. I am so sorry. I cursed us. I said this is not going to be peak Wi Fi. It turns out this is peak Wi Fi. But hey, at least, uh, no timeout. Hey, I think timeouts are right. <laughs> I mean, maybe for like five seconds. Alright, so. I think timeouts are good. <laughs> so we have in Losers Serena Apollo versus Beast. Uh, seeds one and two, battling it out. Uh, on the other side of losers, we have first class Will versus Sen Sky. Both of these sets are one one, so whatever finishes first is probably going to be uh, next on stream. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, that's a lie because we're probably going to have Mouse Rat versus the winner of Apollo of these, just because uh, we want to try to have the later sets on if possible for obvious reasons. But yeah, we're just going to be hanging out here for a second, guys, so just be there with us. Uh, and as soon as we have one of these guys ready, we'll bring him in. Uh, 